You have been fighting the Battle of the Bulge with lots of exercise and at the same time taking the pill to avoid a baby bump. Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here this morning with a new study showing that you could be sabotaging your workout efforts by taking the pill. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So this study showed that people who take the pill were less likely to build muscles than those who didn't. Does this mean that people on the pill can't build muscle or that they have to work harder? No, that's the good news is that they can still build lean muscle mass. They just have to work harder. And the reason for that probably is that what the pill does is it drops our levels of circulating testosterone or anabolic hormones, making it harder to build lean muscle mass. It doesn't mean it's impossible, you just have to work harder. Should anybody reconsider taking the pill in light of the study? Probably not. Unless you're a competitive athlete or a professional bodybuilder, the benefits are still going to be there. You know, this is a small downside. It's just one of the many to consider, though. What are some of the huge benefits that you think are more important than this minor downside? I think, actually, the one that most people don't know about are that over a course of your lifetime, taking the pill can dramatically reduce the chance of uterine and ovarian cancer. It is a significant benefit, very important. Other things like improving acne, are also great, but you know what? There are a lot of risk benefits and people really have to think about them. It's not just contraception. Talk to your doctor. Absolutely, because it's a long discussion. All right, thank you, Dr. You bet, Jennifer Maggie. Ashton. Coming up next, we're gonna talk to a father and daughter who found themselves after a Google search, who found each other, I should say. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is The Early Show on CBS.